Venus and Serena Williams are known for their successful careers in the tennis world. They have dominated the sport for over two decades, winning numerous Grand Slam titles, Olympic gold medals, and other major tournaments. But when the Williams sisters refused to play at Indian Wells for over a decade, the world of tennis was left stunned and perplexed. In this video, we're uncovering the truth about why Serena and Venus Williams boycotted Indian Wells. The 2001 Indian Wells Masters Tournament was held in March at the Indian Wells Tennis Garden in California. The tournament was a high-profile event featuring some of the top male and female tennis players in the world. Often called the Fifth Grand Slam, it attracted a large crowd in the second largest tennis stadium in the world. The tournament promised a lot, but something happened that would redefine the course of history forever. All was set and so were the Williams sisters. In the round of 32, Venus defeated Arantxas Sanchez Vicario of Spain in straight sets with a score of 6-3, 6-4. In the round of 16, Venus faced and defeated Alexandra Stevenson of the United States in three sets with a score of 6-3, 3-6, 6-0. In the quarterfinals, Venus played against Elena Dementieva of Russia and won in straight sets with a score of 6-2, 6-3. This victory secured her place in the semifinals of the tournament. On the other hand, her sister Serena was looking solid as well. In the round of 32, Serena defeated Katarina Srebotnik of Slovenia in straight sets with a score of 6-3, 6-3. In the round of 16, Serena faced and defeated Ai Sugiyama of Japan in three sets with a score of 6-2, 4-6, 6-4. In the quarterfinals, Serena played against Conchita Martinez of Spain and won in straight sets with a score of 6-1, 6-4. This victory secured her place in the semifinals of the tournament. With both of the Williams sisters set to face each other in the semifinals, something out of the blue happened that would be the cause of the Williams sisters boycotting the tournament for almost a decade. On March 15, 2001, the crowd at Indian Wells waited with anticipation for a semifinal showdown between the American sisters. Just four minutes before the match began, however, Venus pulled out with a case of tendonitis. Within seconds, the arena echoed with boos as the news of Venus's withdrawal was heard. The timing of the withdrawal was compounded a day before by Elena Dementieva, who made some comments that heated the debate. The Russian tennis player had suggested that the outcome of the matches between the two sisters was often influenced by Richard Williams, their father and coach. And when asked about who was going to win, Elena came up with a comment that went down in the history books forever. I mean, I don't know what Richard thinks about it. I think he will decide who's going to win tomorrow. The controversy did not stop there as Serena Williams faced off with the Belgian tennis star Kim Kleisters in the final. Just as the grand finale was about to begin, Richard Williams along with his daughter Venus walked into the arena to take their seats in the stands. But their entrance was met with echoing disapproval throughout the arena by a crowd who thought that Venus Williams had withdrawn from the match to let Serena reach the final. Their entrance was met by the overwhelming noise of boos and jeers from the crowd that felt Venus had faked an injury. The anger of the crowd was apparent even during the match. Every fault or double fault was booed. Echoes of racial comments were heard throughout the arena. With every unforced error, the voice of the crowd went up. The finale was all set and both Serena and Kim Kleisters were ready to make their mark. The match was played on March 17, 2001 in front of a packed crowd at the Indian Wells Tennis Garden. But as soon as Serena stepped onto the court, she was met with a hostile reception from the crowd. They booed and jeered at her, convinced that she and her sister Venus had orchestrated Venus's withdrawal from the tournament the night before. Serena got off to a strong start, breaking Kleister's serve in the first game of the match. She maintained her lead throughout the first set, which she won 6-4, thanks to a combination of powerful ground strokes and aggressive net play. The experience was devastating for Serena. She had always tried to be a positive role model for young girls and women around the world, and to see the crowd turn on her so viciously was heartbreaking. It was made even worse by the fact that her father, Richard Williams, was the target of racist insults from some members of the crowd. Throughout the game, Serena was met with boos and jeers. The hostile reception from the crowd affected Serena, and she later said that this was one of the most difficult experiences in her life. Kleisters fought back in the second set, breaking Serena's serve early on and then holding her serve to take a 3-0 lead. 
Serena struggled to find her rhythm, and Kleisters took advantage of some unforced errors to win the second set 6-2. In the final set, Serena regained her composure and started playing more aggressively. She broke Kleister's serve in the third game of the set and then held her own serve to take a 3-1 lead. From that point on, Serena did not look back, unleashing her powerful serve and forehand to dominate the rest of the match. She closed out the final set 6-4, winning her first Indian Wells title and her second career WTA singles title. The victory was a significant moment in Serena's career, as it showed that she had the mental toughness and the physical ability to compete and win at the highest level. In a press conference after the tournament, Serena said, It was a horrible experience. I don't know what to say. It was like something out of the Twilight Zone. I felt like we were in the 60s or something. It was really weird. I just couldn't believe it. I was in shock. Serena also addressed the rumors and speculation surrounding her and her sister Venus's withdrawal from the tournament, saying, I would never default from a match. I would never give anyone the satisfaction of that. I came here to play, and I wanted to win this tournament. Kim Kleisters also commented on the crowd's behavior, saying, it was not a good atmosphere to play in. It's not how tennis should be. I just tried to focus on my game and not let it get to me. Both Serena and Kleisters acknowledged the impact that the crowd's behavior had on their matches, with Serena saying, It affected me, I'm not going to lie. It's hard to play when people are booing and whistling at every mistake you make. But while tennis fans around the world celebrated Serena's victory, there was tension brewing behind the scenes. Fans in the crowd had booed Serena during her subsequent match against Kim Kleisters, and there were rumors that the Williams sisters had been targets of racial slurs. The situation escalated, and this resulted in the Williams sisters boycotting the Indian Wells. The decision was a controversial one, as Indian Wells was one of the most prestigious tournaments on the WTA Tour. The Williams sisters were among the biggest stars in the sport, and their absence was a blow to the tournament's reputation. But for the Williams sisters, the decision was a matter of principle. They believed they had been unfairly treated, and they were unwilling to subject themselves to further abuse. Their withdrawal was a statement of solidarity, a way of saying that they would not tolerate racism and bigotry in the sport they loved. In the years that followed, the Williams sisters' boycott of Indian Wells became a major talking point in the tennis world. Some criticized them for abandoning a tournament that had done nothing wrong, while others applauded them for taking a stand against discrimination. After a 14-year absence, Serena finally returned to the Indian Wells tournament in 2015. In a joint statement, the Williams sisters stated, We have both grown as individuals and as athletes, and we recognize the role that we can play in tennis and our community. When Serena took the court for her first match at Indian Wells in 2015, she was met with a standing ovation from the crowd. It was a far cry from the reception she had received in 2001, and it was a powerful symbol of how much had changed for the better. It was a fitting end to a remarkable comeback, and it was a testament to the Williams sisters' resilience, determination, and commitment to using their platform to effect positive change in the world of tennis and beyond. And while their decision to boycott Indian Wells may have been controversial at the time, it ultimately served as a reminder that tennis is more than just a game. It is a platform for social justice, a place where athletes can use their voices to make a difference in the world. What happened at Indian Wells in 2001 will go down in the history books forever. With the tennis world divided over the decision of the Williams sisters' boycott of the tournament that spanned over a decade, it finally ended in 2015 when they decided to forgive all past wrongdoings from the Indian Wells tournament.